What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2018 February The Bam Box! I'm pretty sure this is for February. Uh, if you're interested in getting this box, I will go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Scratch that, I think this might be for January, because the last time I got this box was in December. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what we got. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Okay, so this box is for January 2018. It's the two-year anniversary box. It says, when we began to prototype the box, we had no idea what was ahead of us. We knew that we loved celebrity autographs. We loved the feeling of seeing the signature of someone we saw on TV or in a movie. We had just started collecting pins and were obsessed. We had fan art all over our walls. We loved reading comics. We loved collectibles. So we decided to put all of that into one box. And then we knew the only thing missing would be for people that also love this to meet each other, to be able to trade, to recreate that feeling. So let's check it out and see what we got. Once you remove the paper, this is what you see. The boxes have been looking a little bit empty lately, so. Okay, the first item that we got is this giant pin. This was, um, oh god, what is this from? Uh, is it? I don't remember. I know I have received this specific thing before. Not this exact pin, but this like hand, like the creepy hand with the thing. This is technically a pin, although I feel like I don't know how this, like, this thing's already bent, the little pin backing. I feel like having one pin backing on this would not hold this. This is very heavy, it's metal. You could use this as a letter opener, because this is, I think, not sharp, but it's like pointy enough that you could probably use it for that. So, uh, what is that from? Does it tell us? Oh, it does, okay, so that's good. We'll see what it is when we do the recap. We got another pin, and this is our actual, like, monthly pin. And this is wa a Walking Dead pin, and it's designed by Nick Kakoza. Nick Kakoza. So there that is. We have a coin. It's like a fake old school dollar coin, but then it's scratched. This is going so well, you guys. I have no idea what any of this stuff is. There's the uh, not scratched side, and then there's the scratch side. You can't even really see it. It's the same design, but it's scratched. So there's that coin. And then we got two things that are print slash photograph. So the first item that we got is a BAM limited edition Stranger Things artwork. And this is actually out of 2000 and it's signed by the artist. I got 1516 out of 2000. So this is called Things Are Getting Strange and it's by Logan Pack. They probably had, I'm assuming, another version of this that was like a limited drop edition, I would say. But this is a cool print. I'm not, I still haven't seen Stranger Things. You guys, I think I tried to watch like the first episode. I don't know if Stranger Things is going to be my jam, but I will try to like actually watch the entire episode and see where that goes. But this is a cool print. Um, if you see down here, you, it's, really, it's hard to see because it's silver, but there's his autograph. And then you can't see the number, but the number is there. It's just in like silver writing, so you can't see it. And then the last item we got is this. This is a... a, a photo from um, Star Wars and this is the guy who operates R2-D2 in Star Wars The Last Jedi and his name is Lee Towersy. So there's the photo and then there's the autograph and then there's like a back. It's not a silhouette but it's R2-D2. It's like the back of R2-D2. Very cool. Uh, that's all the items in the box. Let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. Luckily, they gave us a recap card, which is nice. So the first item we had was uh, the Bandbox Star Wars The Last Jedi signing. It looks like they had a ton of different ones that you could get. I wish I would have gotten the Chewbacca and Porg one. That would have been cool because I really... Just, I just like, this is one of my favorite scenes. Well, okay, wait. That's not my favorite. My favorite scene from the movie was when... I don't want to spoil it, but when, you know, he was outside of the ship and he was about to eat, and then, and anyways. Uh, okay, so we got that. This. I don't know what I was showing you guys. Okay, so this autograph from Lee Towers, Towersy, Towersy, I don't know how to say his last name. It's not, like, going for a whole lot of money. People are trying to sell it for 20 It's not being sold for 20 I probably would say that this is probably worth around the $15 range. You know, it's a cool signature to have, but it's obviously not as big as if you were to get the signature of, like, Ray or 
Kylo Ren or something like that. So it is like kind of the secondary, but it's still cool. Um, I would go ahead and say that's worth $15. This Stranger Things artwork, now there was two different ones. There was a drop version that was uh, printed upside down at a 500, and it was kind of not as colorful. I actually like this one. I like the color scheme on this uh, compared to the kind of just blue, black and white tint. So I am a fan of this. I would say that this is probably worth, I would probably say $10. I always give normal art prints 5 but usually when they're autographed and individually numbered, I would give it 10 It might go for a little bit more. It is a really nice print, you guys. Like, it's it's a nice print. So, you might be able to give that more, but I'm going to give it 10 just based off of my normal pricing. We had the Hand of the King replica from Dark Matter Props. I, is that a Game of Thrones reference? It doesn't actually say. The Hand of the King. I feel like that would be a Game of Thrones reference. Um, I remember receiving something that was like very similar to this and I remember it was really creepy. Uh, but this is a Dark Matter Props item. Uh, I am sad that it wasn't really packaged the best and the pin backing got bent, but it is really nice and heavy duty quality. If I had to price this, I would probably say that you could give this probably like five or six dollars. Actually, I would give it more because it is heavier. It's not really a pin. I don't really know what it's for. Maybe six. Let's just do six. I don't really know. Let's do six. We have Two-Face two coin by Dark Matter Props. Oh, this is, this belonged to Two-Face. Oh, nah, I get it. Okay. Uh, this is cool too. I would probably give this like four dollars at most. It's just kind of a coin, but it's still cool. Uh, we got our pin. We got the the regular pin, but there was a couple different variants. There was one that was only limited to 250 and there was one that was limited only to 50 I don't watch Walking Dead, so like none of these, I have no idea what we're looking at, but there you go. There's that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give that pin $5. It's a nice pin. Good Good size, decent size. And then there was a giveaway, kind of there, there, it was like a drop, I guess. Uh, it was a, oh, it was a, a signed photograph by Christian Bale, a Batman photograph. That's cool. Oh, never mind. You have to like go to their website to win that. So if you guys want to check that out, you might be able to win that right there. That would be really cool. Okay, according to my pricing, this box is worth $40. This box costs $35 a month, which means we got $5 extra value. For a $35 box, we're looking for about $11, $11, 12-ish dollars um, of extra value. So we didn't hit our extra value, which I kind of figured, although it really just depends on how much you're pricing these. I think I priced the autograph pretty well. You might be able to give more for the print, because this print is really nice, this artwork. But other than that, I think it's fairly on points with my low pricing. Yeah, I mean, this box is cool. It, I like the number of items that we got. Well, I guess we got five items. It's not bad. It's just hard because when you do prints and autographs, it just depends. I mean, some of the autographs, like they had this group autograph, this one, which I feel like if you would have received that one where I had multiple autographs, that would be worth more than the $15 price point that I gave it. But because ours was just one, you know, it, there's different things that kind of change that aspect. So I am disappointed with the value, but I actually don't mind the items. I like, like for some reason, even though I'm not a huge fan of, of all of these franchises, there's something about this box. Like I appreciate the items, I guess. There's one of those boxes that you don't, there's not a box that does stuff like this, I suppose, like where you get replica items, um, where you get autographs and really nice artwork from from people from artists so I think that's neat but yeah the value is lacking a little bit maybe if they had one more item in this I think that that would make this box worth it if I had to rate this box I would probably give this box a three point I'll do a 3.75 out of five noobs I think that it's like getting to the point where it's almost there for what type of box this is. I've always said I think this box should add figures and I know a lot of you guys either agree or disagree. I think it's okay that this box doesn't have figures but it definitely needs to, to give maybe one more item to make this box like where people see it and go, yeah, that's worth it, you know? And because it is, everything else that it does is somewhat one of a kind. Like, there's not really a box that's exactly like this. So I do appreciate that. So I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5 noobs. And I would hope that next month they maybe add one more item in, do a six-item box. Because some of these items are obviously a little bit smaller. And I think that would help the value out. 
All right, guys, that is all I have in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. I want to give a really big shout out to all of you guys. I woke up this morning and saw that I had 47,000 subscribers. We're getting so close to 50,000, and I'm so excited. It's been a really, really long road, and you know, once we hit 50, it'll be another long road to hit 100 thousand subscribers but thank you so much for sticking with me I appreciate it and don't forget if you subscribe to my channel you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page which is coming up shortly and before we go you guessed it we must do the video shout out today's video shout out is gonna go to Kevin Bixby and his two and a half year old son Jack Kevin and Jack you guys get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and supporting my channel. I'm assuming you guys are subscribed, so thank you for uh, being one of my 47,000 subscribers. I also want to just say, uh, Kevin, thank you so much for your really nice comment. It's always nice to hear from parents who basically comment that that they believe that this channel is family friendly. I really do appreciate that because I do try to keep my content family friendly. As you guys know, I work in a field where sometimes people can find me from work, <laughs> aka kids, and I want to make sure that I am still putting myself out there in the right way because no one wants to watch a video where people cuss and stuff. I actually don't really like that either, so it kind of works out for me. But thank you so much for, for expressing your appreciation of that. Kevin and Jack, you get the video shout out. Shout out to you, Kevin and Jack! Shout out to you! Alright guys, hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!